Lulu, eight months, learning self-submersions. Once baby is capable of comfortable assisted submersions towards the parent or teacher, and baby has mastered gripping, become more and more independent on land, pulling themselves up to a crawling or standing position, and if you have been skilled building, they will be ready for self-submersions. In the learning process, make sure you give them exploratory time on the ledge until they are comfortable crawling, sitting, exploring the shallow water. During this exploratory time, stay close, for they may overbalance and slip under. And if this happens, relax, pick the baby up, smile and give good social referencing. If you can relax and do this, the baby will not be frightened but think that accidental submersions are just a part of their learning process. Toys or coloured objects can be used to entice baby to self-submerge or push to the parent or teacher. In initial independent submersions, you may observe baby overbalance or even push sideways. But with practice and good guidance from the parent or teacher, the baby will soon be enjoying their independent submersions. All these attempts at self-submersions should be progressive as you skill build and the baby loves their learn to swim experience. In the process of teaching self-submersions, don't neglect working on baby's gripping skills because ultimately we want the baby to self-submerge and pull up unassisted onto the t-shirt. As well as these vital life-saving skills, there are many opportunities for incidental learning where the parent communicates, makes eye contact and takes opportunities as they arise to talk about shapes and the colours as the parent and child enjoy life's journey. That's a good girl. Do you like that? Is that good fun? Whoa! Oh, good girl. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you go. <laughs> you let go. <laughs> you went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs>